Billy, I'll speak to your back and I command this pain to go right now. I command it to be completely restored to perfect health. Pain, loose your hold and get out of this body. Okay, feel it, move it, move it. How's it feel? Not as bad as it was. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do what Jesus told us to do, and that is, he said, go into the world, heal the sick, and tell them about the kingdom of God. We're not interested in trying to get you to go to church or to be part of our church, because we don't even live here. So we've got nothing to gain from you. We don't want anything from you, but we want you to know that God is real. And do you believe in God? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Have you ever invited him to, to, to fill you with his Holy Spirit and to help you lead your life? No. no, I mean, as I said, I used to go to church and all that. And yeah. I had a Bible at home and that. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got a Bible at home? Yeah. Have you ever read it? Yeah, I'm in the middle of reading it now. You are? Yeah, you I'm are? From a friend of mine. So you're curious about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take it you think you're a good person? Oh, I would like to talk so, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Can I put that to the test? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a few questions. Now, when I ask you these questions, it's not to judge you or to condemn you, because I've done all of these myself. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What would that make you? Bad person. No, no. It would just make you a liar, right? Have you ever stolen anything? No. Have you ever looked at a woman to lust after her in your mind? Yeah. This, yeah of course we have. <laughs> We're men, you know? Have you ever used God's name in vain? I uh, have in the past and I've argued with somebody. Yeah, yeah. So, according to your own confession, you're a lying, adulterous, blasphemer at heart. And those are just three of the Ten Commandments that you've broken and I've broken. We've all broken them. And the point I want to make here is, is, that, is that you're curious about God, and that's a good thing because all of us are in a dangerous place if we don't know Him. Now, one day you and I are going to die. And we're going to face the living God, the righteous judge, the best judge of all. And according to his standard of right and wrong, we've all broken his standards. Mm -hmm. So according to the evidence, would you be innocent or guilty? You'd be guilty. And so you'd do the time. And for the time for us when we face God in eternity is either we will either be, be free to spend eternity with him in heaven or we'll go to hell for eternity. Because your spirit is going to live forever, so is mine. What you choose now will determine where you're going to end up yeah. okay so here's the thing you're guilty so you're going to do the time and that's damnation and hell but the amazing thing is Jesus came to pay the price the fine for all of our sin so if, if you have asked Christ to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior and you've said okay I've blown it I have made mistakes I have sinned which we all have even just according to God's standards we have um, if you admit that and say, well, but I accept that you paid the price on the cross for my sin and for all sin. I accept the, that you paid the fine. When, when you face God on the day of judgment, he'll say, oh, he's one of mine. I paid his fine, Father. And he says, okay, Billy, you can enter into the joy of the Lord. You can enter into eternal life. You can enter into my kingdom. Can I pray with you? Yeah. Do you mind? No. Can I place my hand on your chest? So, Billy, I... I, I, I I ask, Father, that you will reveal yourself to Billy. Show him how real you are. Show him that you love him. Show him that, Lord, you've got so much more for his life than what he's settled for and who he has become. You want to show him a better way to live. Billy, would you say this with me? Lord, Lord, I ask you to forgive me. Ask me to forgive me. For all my sins. For all my sins. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. And help me to live for you. Help me to live for you. I choose your fine that you've paid for me. I choose your fine and pay for me. To accept it. To accept it. And I ask you to be my Lord and Saviour. I ask you to be my Lord and Saviour. Help me to live for you. Help me to live for me. I ask it in your name. I ask it in your name. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Billy, how are you feeling? Okay, bye. Quite emotional, I'm fine. That's good. Because that's God. He's just showing you He loves you. He doesn't care what you've done. What He cares about is where you go from here. Yes. And you've been to court, so you've obviously done some things in your past. But you see, when you give your life to Jesus, He says, He wipes the slate clean. Doesn't matter what people think of you, in God's eyes, He has wiped the slate clean, Billy. Yes. So that you are totally acceptable in Him. Go home and read that Bible. Your friend who's speaking to you about God, who's that? My friend Martin. Okay. Your friend Martin, tell him that you prayed. Tell him 
that you ask Christ into your life. Tell him that you want to walk with God and, he, and ask him to help you. Will you do that? Yeah, I will when I see him, yeah. Thank you so much. No bother. Thank you for letting me pray for you. That's okay. Oh. Bless you. Thank you too, eh? And may the Lord lead you. May he fill you with peace. Yeah. Yeah? Because you need peace in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen.